Welcome back to AM Live and on TSPN here this morning with John Slot. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning of John Slot Photography. Yes. And your name has certainly um, exploded over the internet, hasn't it? It, it has. There were, yeah, I, I was almost overwhelmed at moments, all the attention that I was getting and uh, it, but it was it was for the right reasons. So. Yeah, in, in case people don't know, you have been photographing the Butte Fire. Correct. And um, the Valley Fire too, or just the Butte Fire? No, just the Butte yeah, Fire. Yeah, and so uh, <sighs> you know, social media can be a great um, tool for all of us to be uh, to have unity around whatever topic or yeah. issue is going on. And the Butte Fire certainly has brought communities together in ways that we never expected. Yes. And you've been um, used in that as 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 you share your photography and. Um, People have just been really resonating with, with that and wanting to see the fire up close, and you've you've given us that. Well, th thank you very yeah. much. And I, you know, the social media, the people that were displaced from their homes, <clears throat> really had nowhere to turn for information. Mm -hmm. um, they were just being put in the waiting room, yeah, basically. Exactly. And uh, mm -hmm. so I had an opportunity to um, give them an uncensored view yeah, of it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I want to talk to you about that. Um, you know, what was that like for you to be so up close and uh, such a bird's eye view, if you will, of people's devastation? And what was that like? It hurt. Yeah. It was. It was. It's sadness. I mean, the way I started off on the on the fire was to just try and get myself a few photos I could sell the newspapers. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but um, it quickly changed. Mm -hmm. You know, after about the third day, and and I was starting to see the attention I was getting, and then the social media and the requests that were coming through my Facebook page. Um, People didn't want a news reporter out there. Right. They had enough of those from KCRA and, and ABC. Okay. What they wanted was a friend and a neighbor that was going to tell them the truth. Exactly. And um, so I became that for them. Mm -hmm. it, it just kind of morphed into that. So my pictures started taking a different direction. So I, instead of looking at the news angles or the art angles, I started looking at the human angles. The human interest, <laughs> People exactly. wanted to know what their property was like. Mm -hmm. People wanted to know where their animals were. People wanted to know what was going on. And nobody was really telling them. So I became the voice. That's right. That's and, right. Um, and it just it, it exploded. There were times when I would post pictures on, on Facebook that uh, I was getting 40, 50 hits a second mm -hmm. on my page. Mm -hmm. And what a lot of people don't realize is in, in the evenings when I was getting home, privately, I was Facebooking with folks and trying to match them up with the pictures of their homes. Mm -hmm. And it was just gut-wrenching. I mean, yes. I was meeting four or five people in the evenings and showing them the complete destruction of their, mm -hmm. of their lives, mm -hmm. and they're thanking me for it. And, I, you know, there were times I was, Heather, I was going to bed at night just shaking yes. and tears coming out of my eyes. It Carrying was, that burden. Yes. And, and knowing that I... I had to get up and do it again because there were so many people wanting it. Mm -hmm. And and so it, it became that I wasn't a photographer anymore. I was more of the eyes of the people. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. And I really appreciate that you did that with that sensitivity because, yeah. you know, that's that was definitely uh, required in the yeah. situation. Yeah. You know, like you said, you alternated from being initially more objective into being having to, leading with your heart. Yes, in this. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's good. So you have, um, in, in your specialty is natural photography? Natural yeah, natural photography, um, landscape photography mm -hmm. is my passion. Yeah. That's what I love to do. Um, where I make most of my money selling pictures to the newspapers mm -hmm. on, on news and doing photo shoots. I've got a country singer I'm doing Friday and mm -hmm. things like that mm -hmm. nature. So I do all, all around photography, but the landscape is what I really love. I love selling the, the pictures. Yeah, absolutely. So how can people learn more about um, the Butte Fire through your photography? Or how can they see your pictures of the fire if that's what they're interested in specifically? Well, I've, I've had a lot of offers, as you can imagine, since it, um, since it happened. But the one thing I wanted to do first was I, I, I produced a uh, uh, calendar for hope, mm -hmm. uh, the Butte Fire, and it's in press right now. I should be picking up the first press on Thursday, and we are selling it online at johnslotphotography.net. Okay. And all the proceeds are going to go to help uh, the relief effort. That's wonderful. The, I'm, I'm trying to sell a thousand calendars so I can hand over a check for ten thousand dollars. That would be wonderful. Uh, to, to help the relief effort. So how much is each calendar? There, if you buy them cash at one of the stores or locally, they're going to be twenty dollars online. They're twenty six, okay. and that includes the shipping. Right. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's such a great, um, a great, 
way to help people with the photography. I mean, people, are, I, I believe you're probably going to sell more than that, I think. Uh, well, that would be great yeah, because yeah. We'll, we'll keep it going as long as, yeah, you know, the, it's feeding there. There's going to be so much need long term. I mean, yeah. you know, this is just the beginning of the need. This well, is going to be months, and if not years, that we're healing from this. And, you know, the, the human nature ha is that a lot of people are going to, our fire's out now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they're going to move on to the next That's right. thing. That's right. But, but yet the people that lost their homes, they're still displaced. Yeah. We still have, exactly. have the relief centers full, full mm -hmm. of people, and, and it wouldn't be right to forget about them now. Well, you know, just like a funeral. You know, everyone rallies around the family when, when mm -hmm. someone passes and brings food and visits and all that, and then people go back to their normal life, mm -hmm. and the family is still mourning, and their normal life is gone. Yes. And oh, so that's yeah. very similar to this situation. Ab absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so. And in, in our media society now, everybody just wants the new and latest and greatest thing, and you forget about what was past. But, yeah. but um, I don't intend on forgetting. I, right. I plan on, um, in six months and in a year, I'm going to go back and revisit some of the st spots and reshoot them again. I was just going to say, you should do a, you know, a, a continuation of this project yeah. and show how things are being yeah. restored. Yeah. That would be very hopeful, too. A lot of people have asked me to put a book together, mm -hmm. uh, but um, I'm, I'm looking at opportunities or, or anybody that could help me put one together because I've never done one. Yeah. And to do one like this, it would have to be done right. Yeah. Well, there's actually, um, I just read recently that the Butte Fire is the seventh worst fire in California history. Yeah. So, and, and I haven't even heard a dollar figure yet. Mm -hmm. So, absolutely. I, and I think the sad part is a lot of people that lost their homes. They're not wealthy people, and they're mm -hmm. people without insurance. Exactly, exactly. I know my, my family has suffered in that in yeah. that too. So yeah, it's it's heartbreaking. But the beauty is the the people in our community that are rallying behind these people and helping and yeah. just you know serving sacrificially. The human the spirit is amazing. Affected. Yes, it really is. It's, it's beautiful. It's thing. just amazing. And, and I've got back Sunday to. So you're some of your pictures actually they're showing now um okay yeah and yeah. so people can go to your website will you repeat the website john well to buy the calendars it's uh, www.johnslotphotography.net mm -hmm. and i show my pictures on my facebook page which is uh, john slot photography at yeah. facebook yeah absolutely yeah thank you for doing that and if somebody wanted to book you they certainly could you also yeah just go on my go on my facebook page send me a message um mm -hmm. i don't uh, run a website. I do a direct to customer sales. Um, if somebody sees a print they want, just let me know what you want and, and I'll get it for you. Yeah. And that way I can keep my prices reasonable. Mm -hmm. Very good. And you've been a photographer for a few years now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Professionally about three years, yeah. two to three years. Now. You've always had a passion for it. Oh, I have. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, you, when you retire, I retired uh, in 2010 and you need to find something you love to do when mm -hmm. you're retired. If mm -hmm. you don't, you're just going to. And it's really beautiful yeah. that you found not only something you love to do, but this is to have it has meaning behind it at this point at least i mean there's a lot yeah. of you know you're actually being used in a powerful way yeah yeah know? yeah. i've been very so, fortunate yeah, i've yeah. had a, i've had a lot of doors open for mm -hmm, me and mm -hmm. uh i've been very fortunate and i've i've heard other people say you know how a photographer becomes famous well it's being in the right place at the right time with the right opportunity absolutely yeah. being in the right place at the right time i mean yeah. and it sounds weird to say that in relationship to a fire to a, to, but yeah, to a tragic of, event there's absolutely. beauty out of ashes yes. you know absolutely there really are there really yeah. is so um, good for you. Good for you. Thank you for capturing things so beautifully and with heart. Too. Thank you That's so much. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. It's my absolutely. first time on television. Yeah, oh, it is. Yeah. You're doing great. Yeah, oh, you're doing you. great. And also, people should know you also do sports photography too, right? I, I do. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. I, I I love to do it. Um, I'm I'm fairly new at it, but um, I did a I got to cover the U.S. Senior Open for the Valley Springs News. Yeah. And uh, I got to. I mean, for a local kid like me, just walk into fairways in a national event. Oh, that was amazing. You had to pinch yourself, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm just going, gosh, this is just where, you know, how did I get here? Yeah, you know? absolutely. It was so much fun getting to meet Tom Watson and some of my childhood idols was just amazing for me. That's really neat. Yeah. yeah, well, you could write a book. You have all these unique experiences. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know about that, but. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, absolutely. Well, again, thank you. I think we're going to, how much? We have a couple minutes left, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have a couple minutes left. Okay, good. So we can find out more things. I'd like to ask you if you could just tell us one thing you learned through this fire. What would it be? Oh, the. Um, through the Butte fire, through your experience here. What, if, what, if, what's if one you're, thing if, you've learned? If you're ever in a disaster, or a tragic event, I want to stand next to an American mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because they know how to come through in the clutch. Amen. And, um, mm -hmm. But if I could, I'd like to leave you with a happy story. Okay. Um, through my photography, I, you know, I was sending out a lot of photos, so I was trying to take pictures of people. 
Well, Friday, this past Friday, I got a message on my Facebook page from this lady telling me, hey, can you go to the Good Samaritan Church in Valley Springs and, and try and find a girl named Brandy? She's desperately trying to find you. So I mean, it's only a few blocks from my house. So I went down there and uh, I got a hold of her. In one of the pictures I had posted that day of a gentleman in line trying to get back to his house, she goes, this man's been missing for five days. When, when did you take this picture and where is he? Wow. And, I, and I told her, well, you're okay, because I took the picture today at about 11.30, and he's angry, and he's pissed off, and he's ready to get up to back to his house, so he's fine, and I put him back together. Wow. Was it a family member? It was. Wow. Yeah. That's and awesome. And they hadn't seen him for five days, and they thought he was burned in the fire. Yes, absolutely. What a relief. So I have a, Again, being at the right place at the right time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. There's probably many, many stories. There's a like lot that. of good stories. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's very heartwarming. And I don't blame people are upset, you know, yeah. not knowing what's going on, you know, um, just the fear of the unknown that people it, are going through. Oh, right now. oh absolutely. Yeah. And not trying to blame anybody. It's just, I mean, it's just I, I would, I would feel in. the same way. Yeah, absolutely. I would. Uh, being just the word displaced being mm -hmm. displaced it's very disconcerting right you know so um again but you're able to bring some hope into that and that's you know i think that brings value to every human yeah. life and we're able to bring yeah. someone else hope yeah well i i just hope that um i did the story justice because i wanted to tell the story yeah absolutely well i think you've done a phenomenal job again let's repeat your website one more time before we head off here www.johnslotphotography.net that will get you to, to buy the calendar. Buy the calendar, and hope calendar. And um, at Facebook.com, it would be John Slot Photography. Very good, John. Thank you so much for being on this morning. Thank, Thank you, you for having work. me. Keep it up, okay? All right. We're going to head over to uh, Supervisor John Fox.